Hey guys, it's Allie from Allie V Love. Hopefully by now you've watched my other video of why I am not a huge fan of Valentine's Day. And I'm going to jump into actually things that you can get for not just Valentine's Day, but around the entire year for your loved ones. My idea is to spread the love and not smush it all together in one day. My first thing, and um, I spilled a little bit of baby powder on this, so excuse the little mess on the shirt, is not your mom, not your milk. This is a great t-shirt for vegans. It's from Vegan Veins, and it has a cow on it because it's telling you that cow's milk is not for you to drink, it's for the calves to drink. So I really like the concept, and this is my first vegan t-shirt, and I'm so excited. So vegan t-shirts are the first thing that I would recommend to get your vegan significant other um, when they really have an itching for a vegan t-shirt. So you could buy it, and you could package it up really nice, and one day when your loved one is feeling kind of down, or they need a little pick-me-up, you can present your gift or leave it out in really nice wrapping and leave a little note. Um, uh, you look like you could use a little love today or, or a little appreciation, some kind of affectionate note, and leave it around and wait for them to open it. And I'm sure that they would appreciate something like that all year round. Okay. Sticking with um, vegan options, I have a vegan cookbook that I got from Brittany actually. It says Isa does it. Or Isa. Um, I have not used any of the recipes yet, but they look quite yummy. Um, other things that you can get besides uh, these type of books are ebooks. And I recommend Freely's. Banana Girl ebook and the Rawtel 4 ebook that just came out. I am currently reading it. Plant Based Judy has really great recipes and she's in college, so I think it's really great to support um, people who are around my age and have ambitions of owning their own business and things like that. Ellen from. I think her name is Ellen Fisher from Mango Mango Island Mama and I think she has an ebook out too and a blog. I really enjoy her Instagram and her um, YouTube channel a lot and I'm sure that her ebook is just as great. Lonnie Jean, as most people know from her Instagram account, has an amazing Instagram account and I I would really like to purchase her ebook. It's just a little too out of, too much out of my price range right now, but it's $30 and you have it for life and it has vegan recipes in it. Vegan jewelry or things from Etsy are usually greatly appreciated from people. I actually made this um, heart ring. You can see it. I made this in my class for myself because I wear rings a lot. So you could go to a community college and take a class and make a bunch of jewelry. It's pretty cheap to make the jewelry and I think it's a hundred dollars or something for the class. Or you could make your engagement rings together. You can make your wedding bands. The actual time that it takes is not that crazy once you learn how to do it and the cost is a lot cheaper when you're getting the um, silver yourself. This is um, silver. And gold is more expensive, but if that's something that you wanted to do, gold is great. This is from uh, my graduation from high school from a friend. It's Pandora. And I wear it every day. So these are my two rings I wear every day. Fitbit. I really enjoy my Fitbit. Um, Chronometer is was is great. I know people are really big into Strava's. Vegan the bikes. If you're into bike riding, the bike rollers for 
inside the house. I mean, the options are kind of unlimited once you understand uh, the person that you were with and what they enjoy the most. And again, spread your love. <laughs> Don't give it all in one day. This is something that my brother brought back from when he went to Italy, Germany, a few other places. I forget exactly where this is from. But he always gets really meaningful gifts and this is a mango wood hand painted with gemstone powder. It's a jewelry box. It's so pretty. And then it gives you what gemstones it was painted with inside. I know it's really hard to see them. It is amethyst. I can't pronounce this. <laughs> Chalcedony. Coraline Agent, Garnet, Green, Aventurn, Paradox, I'm really butchering these names, Red Jasper, Sodalite, Turquoise, and Yellow Agent. So pretty. He also brought me back these really unique earrings, which I cannot wait to wear them in the summer. And this bracelet. Very pretty wooden bracelet. Little gifts like this are really um, thoughtful when they're brought back from other places or they're handmade and they're not just a huge manufacturer. I think it shows a little bit more of a uniqueness in gift giving. My dad went to Arizona this year. And he brought me back Navajo earrings. They're so pretty. So this was this was um, I think maybe Christmas and a birthday present. And this was just because he went away, my dad. This is just to give you ideas, not to say that these are specifically what you need to get or you don't need to get anything at all. I'll explain uh, free gifts in a, in a minute that are usually more meaningful to people. So I am a big fan of sketching and my brother brought me back this beautiful sketch pad and I haven't used it yet because it's so pretty. <laughs> the paper is really gorgeous in here. It's nice and thick very pretty so if you if you went somewhere and you were away from your significant other for a long period of time and you made a journal it'd be so great to say I uh, I know I was away for a long time here's what happened and it kind of explains your inner thoughts and things like that so I think that would be a great gift um, a journal of your thoughts because sometimes you know it's easier to read what you're thinking instead of guessing what you're thinking. That's like this journal. <laughs> nice plant. This was her fashion class. And um, it's a eco book. And I really think that it's gorgeous. So if you were to get something like this and you were to write in it, it's a nice book for your significant other to sit down and read and understand you a little bit better and get to know you more. Now we get into some books. Amo Amas Amate and more. I w loved Italian when I was Italian. <laughs> I do love Italian. Um, I love I loved Latin in my Latin class in high school and I took two years of Latin. Of course, it would probably save me a lifetime to actually learn the language, but I really appreciate the Latin language, and I wish that I did learn it because I think that it would help me break down other languages better. So this is a book that I am not reading currently, but will be reading soon, and it breaks down how to say different words.
uh, for the Latin language. So I'm really excited to get back into Latin and learn a little bit more. I also have a Latin and English dictionary because I'm, I'm a big uh, fan of learning other languages and learning about um, uh, and learning about other, excuse me, and learning about other cultures. I really find other cultures fascinating. And we have Italian. I have another Italian book too. This is Prego. And I think I got this at a book sale. Great thing, um, books booksalefinder.com. I will put it in the link below. They're great book sales to get books for a lot cheaper. This is how I um, purchase books for Amazon, but you can go into a book sale and just get books for yourself, and it's so much cheaper than going into a bookstore like Barnes & Noble's, although it's very nice to sit in Barnes & Noble and read. So this is a actual textbook. I'll just bring you to the beginning of it. So it shows you pretty basic words and sayings, and I'm sure that it will bring you into not so basic sayings at towards the end. I also have an app on my phone that I want to show you if you are interested in about learning another language, and it's free. It's called Duolingo. Dual lingo, and I know it's really hard to see. It's right here, and I will leave a link to it below. It looks like an owl, and um, it's green. It's also free, and I'm really enjoying it right now. I am learning Italian, and I'm pretty sure that it didn't have Latin. Otherwise, I would be right up in there and learning my Latin. Next, I just have like fun quirky books like if you want to learn how to do cool napkin folding. I also have a book about the I think it's an etiquette book on the royal family and etiquette on the royal family. I just think it's cool to learn about different things so I got all different types of books all up in here. Then I have two different series that I am obsessed with. First is Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is the second book, I think. Yeah. The books are great. They're easy readers, quick to get through, and extremely interesting. You don't want to put them down, especially if you enjoy like the fantasy type style. And this also throws in some Greek mythology with it. Then we have... Pen Dragon. I forget if this is the first book or not. And yeah, I think this is the first one. Yes. It is a great fantasy book and it's also an easy read and so interesting and different to what you would expect from this type of book. I thought it was really cool how the book goes between the other world and earth so it goes back and forth and I'm not going to give too much away because I thought I think it's a really great series so I've been reading these and I think I'm on the second book right now I'm pretty sure that I read The Sea of Monsters already for Percy Jackson because I couldn't get enough of his books and I think I'm looking for the third book I think my brother has it somewhere. Next to get out of books I'm going to go into food. Who doesn't love bananas that's vegan? So my idea behind this is to make a banana smoothie or something fun in the morning for your loved one. Um, you can make banana and ice cream which is super delicious. I think I have some videos on banana and ice cream. And I also have some other things that you can put into the smoothie. Medjool dates. If you guys have not heard of Medjool dates or have never seen Medjool dates, 
You need to get on it. They're so good. They look like this. Well, at least some of them. And you pull them apart and the seed is in the middle. And they are great to add to your smoothies or to just eat. And they're also a great present if you're vegan. Or if you want to start eating a little bit more vegan. As you can see, this is almost gone. So I use this a lot. I use this in almost everything. Coconut sugar is my new sugar. I don't really use refined white sugar anymore. I will use coconut sugar because it has a low glycemic index and is unrefined. It's also a um, fair trade. And delicious. This is something new that I've recently got. It is peppermint sweet leaf liquid stevia sweet drops. Also great to put into um, smoothie. I know these seem like weird gifts, but if you're vegan and you've known your vegan significant other for at least a couple months, they will probably love this. If you're just getting into dating or seeing each other, um, maybe not the best gifts in the beginning because you might not know. Maybe they're vegan and they're allergic to bananas or they don't like bananas. So get to know the person and what they like before you start gifting them things. Kara powder and um, cacao powder are really great as well. Um, they're really great to make vegan smoothies and to make cookies and little sweets. And then the holy grail. This is 100% natural, gluten-free, excuse me, nutritional yeast. And this is actually the only nutritional yeast that I found that is technically vegan. The rest of them, the nutritional yeast that is the Bragg actually has something in it that's not vegan. I think it's like a milk. There's something in it because when I was reading it, I was like, this is not vegan. So this is what it looks like and I get this on Amazon. I got the stevia on Amazon and I also got the organic medjool dates on Amazon as well. If your people are into makeup, this is a great vegan um, mascara that I'm wearing today. It's called Show Off Beauty Addict. And you can go to beautyaddicts.com. I will link that in the description. It is a really great formula and a great brush. If you can see that well. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> also, e.l.f. products. According to... e.l.f. products, according to PETA are vegan and cruelty free. So here is e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow. Nice. This is a cheap gift. If you don't have um, a lot of money, you're in high school, you want to give your significant other something like that. This is translucent mattifying powder. And this is blush. So my thing is Hey guys, as I was watching the video, I realized that I didn't mention anything that was free. And so sorry about that. So a few things that I would say are free is to make breakfast, lunch, or dinner for your significant other. Make a picnic style in your living room. A um, little vegan buffet. You can do... A whole like tent thing if you want to and camp out in your house you can go for a walk you can bike together you can go to a park and hang out go on the swings um, you can do a nice bubble bath together or have a nice bubble bath waiting uh, make your own um, crafts hopefully I will have some time to 
make a few things for you guys that are close to nothing or free that you find around the house. So those are a few ideas. There's a bunch on Pinterest. Definitely take a look at Pinterest and find something romantic or something fun for your kids to do. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, sub subscribe, and give a thumbs up. And please leave me some comments on what you plan to give for Valentine's Day or throughout the year as a vegan gift. Love you guys. Bye.